Hey everyone, in this at home lab, we're going to be using the very fa fancy brown paper bag test to test for the organic compound lipids. So with me here today, I've got three different substances, water, olive oil, and some chicken noodle soup. But you can do this with any substance that you have in your home as long as it's a liquid. I also have three separate droppers in order to not contaminate my samples when I'm putting them on my brown paper bags. You can do this at home and follow along with me. It's really easy and only takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to test three different samples. So I have three different squares. These are just pieces of brown paper bag cut up. It's about one centimeter by one centimeter. All right, let's get started with our first sample. All you need is a very tiny little drop on your brown paper bag. And if you spill a little bit like I just did, that's okay. Just make sure you separate your other squares so that your results don't get mixed up. All right, now I'm gonna take a tiny bit, just one drop worth of my next sample. And again, it's okay if it spills a little bit. And now I'm gonna take my third sample, sample C, my chicken noodle soup. All right, and sometimes your sample might bubble up on top. And if you have a lot of extra sample, what you can do is, is just pick it up on the edges and let excess run off. All right, now we're gonna wait about three to five minutes until the sample is slightly dry, and then we're gonna hold it up to the light. So see you in a few minutes. All right, we're back at the little mess I made, and you can see these samples aren't totally dry, but we've given it a chance to sink in. All right, let's check out our control. What we're gonna do is hold up each brown piece of paper up to the light and see if it's translucent. That means a little bit of light can come through. Is it a little bit see-through? Now, if it's wet, it still might be a little see-through, even if it's water. But with water as your control, you shouldn't be able to see much light through. So let's pick up the sample. Doesn't look like it has any lipids, and good, it's not supposed to. Our next sample is our olive oil. This is a lipid, so let's hold it up to the light and see what we get. All right, you see how all that light's coming through? That is a positive test result. All right, last one, let's check out our soup. We hold it up to the light. Yes, it does look like, in fact, there are some lipids in that sample. Now it's your turn. You can try this at home with your own brown paper bags and your own liquid solutions. Good luck testing your samples for lipids.